whether it's, you know, mentally, physically, you know what I'm saying, or both. Come to the gym and get better. YouTube, what's going on today? We got a chest day. All right, if you know right now, I'm probably like eight weeks into my prep. Sticking by the plan, 10,000 steps a day, 25 minutes of cardio a day. Now in this workout, I'm probably just gonna do my workout and do 25 minutes of cardio after. Uh, probably not after the workout, but like later on this night, tonight because I got a lot of things to do. I got to post on IG. I got to get all my stuff booming and popping. But anyways, I appreciate all the love and support. Make sure you like and subscribe. All right, any questions that you have, anything you want to see next, leave them in the comments. And uh, yeah, let's get straight to it. So right here we got four sets of 12 on the dips. I don't normally do dips, not really my thing. Personally, for like a warm up, I usually just hit, hit them with some uh, shoulder flies or shoulder arm circles for like four sets. But uh, right here, we're gonna do dips. We're gonna do four sets of 12. We won't do a weight or anything like that. So keep it chill, keep it light. Yeah, that's what it is. I'll finish at like 6,000, even though I had 10,000 in the plant. So I'm not like destroying it, I'm not murdering it, you know what I'm saying? But I know for the last like three, four weeks, I'm gonna really dial in and see how far I can take it. But prep has been pretty cool, I learned a lot. I'm not really happy about the stage presence or anything like that, but we'll see when we get closer to that date, like a week out, we'll see. I'm gonna stay right here at 100 pounds. I'll probably try to go for like four for like eight to 10, and that'll be the vibe. Like I'm not trying to go too crazy. I feel good, I feel powerful, you know what I'm saying? But I just don't feel as strong as normal. So I'm not gonna go to 120 because, yeah, I'm not gonna risk any injuries. But I will try to hit eight reps again. Uh, that one I did like seven and a half, so maybe on this one I could do eight. So I'm gonna take like another 30, 45 seconds. But uh, yeah, that's the name of the game, bro. You gotta come to the gym to get better daily, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's, you know, mentally, physically, you know what I'm saying, or both. Come to the gym and get better. You better. Man, people really have been like, out to get me lately, bro. It's crazy. So my videographer came to my apartment today and uh, he has like designs and stuff on his car. I guess his brand logos and my valet guy was like, yo, he can't come in. Anybody with branded logos on their cars, they can't park here, stuff like that. And this dude has really been coming at me. Like he's been targeting me specifically. I kept my cool, I didn't snap out. You know how I could have. Sometimes like life will throw you challenges, bro. You can't respond to him. Cause if I go off on that dude, you know, I spark at him, throw him some words, and we fight or anything like that. It's only bad that can happen, you know what I'm saying? So. Sometimes you just gotta just say it is what it is. He's mad at his job, mad at who he is. That's his problem. I'm not gonna let it become mine. And continue to be a good person. Smile and keep going. I didn't handle the situation exactly how I wanted to. I didn't snap out at him, but I did like give him more words than I wanted to. I wasn't like cussing or going anything too crazy, but that's the message of the day, bro. The weaker thing to do is to literally go at that dude and fight him. That's what the weaker person does. He uses the hands. The smart person uses the mind. You know, they'll talk to him at another day. Maybe that day is just not a good day for him. But if you can, bro, avoid all confrontation. Yeah, that's the message of the day. Avoid the confrontation, bro, you don't need it. Set number three. That one I did seven and a half. I'm gonna try to do eight. So 
So I did like six. This time I'm gonna take like at least like a minute and a half, two minutes off. So I can make sure I get my full eight reps. That's a lot of my issue. Like sometimes I'll rush through my workout, I'll get bored. It's like if you're going heavy, you know what I'm saying? You're trying to put on muscle, you're trying to build. Take like two minutes between sets. If you're looking to build and burn, make your long workout a little bit longer. You know what I'm saying? Don't be afraid to take off 90 to 120 seconds. You know what I'm saying? And then you can make up for the calories burned on cardio after. For me, like I'm always used to like just burning it out. You know what I'm saying? Like doing this and then doing two other things in the middle so I keep the sweat and I can make my workout like 45 minutes, you know, 40 minutes and then hit the door. That's just me personally. We got Burn and Build. If you're not subscribed to the app, I don't know what to tell you. Burn and Build, man, we're burning and building. People are saying great results, crazy results. I'm actually flying somebody out here to Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I think we have like eight more weeks, nine more weeks of the uh, challenge. So whoever wins, whoever has the best before and after pictures, I'm bringing them out here. We're gonna make some content and go crazy. But yeah, if you're not subscribed to the app, go ahead and click the link and let's get busy. All right, second, second station. Um, I would say go incline press. This right here is like a somewhat of an incline press. It's a little bit of an incline, but not how I would like it, preferably, but I like this machine a lot. So yeah, we're gonna go like four for 12 here. I'm really keeping the weight the same. I might go up like 10 to 15 pounds, nothing too crazy. But yeah, four sets of 12. And then uh, from here, we'll do some like, some more isolation. I don't know if you can tell, but my feet were moving around the whole time. This is not good. You want to take the momentum out. Uh, that's why you'll see a lot of the times I'll be doing my workouts on my knees, because just playing football growing up, like I'm used to like being able to move around, like push people down, you know what I'm saying? Like power was my thing. But now that I've gotten into bodybuilding, it's about time and attention, slow and control. So make sure you're not bouncing around how I just was. Set number three, let's get to it. Gym etiquette, you can leave the 45s on. Don't leave two plates on, you know what I'm saying? Nine times out of 10, they probably gonna need at least a plate on. You can leave the plate on, don't leave two. I gotta copyright my, my hand move. Everybody's talking about my hand dance. If you see people doing that, you know where it started. Do it. So I'm not gonna overly tire my shoulders because I gotta hit with them all. But we gotta throw in a little bit of work. You don't have to do this, but I am though. That's what gets me hyped. Like literally, that's what that's what keeps me going. That's why I'm at where I'm at today, bro. Because of the people. That's the key.
All right, so if you didn't do that superset right there, if you're looking to build, it's probably best that you don't do the superset. Uh, for me, I want to kind of get some calories in before I have to catch this flight. But what you can do is get on the dip machine, back to it. I know you did it to warm up at first. And then what I want you to do is do four sets till failure. All right, so if you didn't superset, do four sets till failure. That'll be the workout. Like, subscribe. Leave your questions in the comments, man. Whatever you want to see next, leave them in the comments. That's what I'm going to do. All right, so whatever I see the most, whatever I notice the most, that's what I'm going to make the next video on. Love you guys. Thanks for the support. Peace.